Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Shantrina's and today I'm going to show you finally uh, this makeup and hair from DY Hair 777. So this is their Burmese Deep Wave hair. I absolutely love it. It is a 360 frontal and I gotta admit this was a little hard to do but I overall I love the results I just think my head's a little too big for this cap size but you know what we're gonna work past that and we still gonna look cute so it doesn't even matter to start off I'm gonna go ahead and try to lay down my frontal using this um, glue gorilla snot and some hairspray that I found in my little hair box of hair products and um, just an FYI I was not able to get my frontal to stick down that great with this hairspray and hair gel combination so i did end up picking up that got to be glued and the got to be glued hairspray so i will be trying out that method pretty soon but i think um if the frontal was a little bigger i would have been able to absolutely slay this like i would have slayed it you guys and this is me trying to lay my baby hairs i still don't really know how to do that i am learning as i go and i'm hoping i get better at it pretty soon but yeah that's just how it's going to be for right now I'm taking some water and my little water spray bottle. I did write water on it because I gotta make sure I know which one I'm looking at. And um, so I'm taking my little water spray bottle and wetting the hair. When you're defining curly hair, you wanna make sure it's all the way wet. Otherwise you might get some like dry patches and it might be a little bit tangly and you don't want that. You just wanna look cute and glowy and ready for summer. So after I wet my hair, I went in with my Cream of Nature Styling Foam Mousse and I just kind of used that and finger combed it throughout my hair. Once I did that, I went ahead with my Demon brush and distributed all of that nice little foamy goodness and I went ahead and did some twists. So just some basic two strand twists and then I kind of twirled the ends to get a better defined look to it. All right, so after that, I'm going in with my Maybelline Baby Skin as a primer, and then I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in orange and just kind of um, taking away any dark marks on my face. The next product that I'm using is my Makeup Forever HD Foundation, and this one is still a little bit too dark for me, but I would rather have foundation that's a little too dark. That way I can kind of um, fix it with my concealers and everything, but I still use it. I still think it works pretty good. Next thing I'm using is my Wet n Wild Concealer. This is um, a dupe for the NARS Creamy Radiant and it only costs like what, five bucks? So really, really good deal. Over top of that, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal and Fawn and um, just kind of to lighten up underneath my eye and make everything a little bit brighter. After that, I'm setting it with my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder, um, only on the places that I want to stay matte, so basically just like in the center of my face. So next, I'm taking my Ruby Kisses Powder. I didn't want to do anything too heavy, so I didn't do a cream contour, I just did a powder contour. And then after that, I'm going in with my Hot Flush Blush from Sephora. I love to use this because it looks like a highlight on its own, which is pretty nice. And next, I'm taking my Femme Couture Luminizer Drops. This is my first time using anything like this product and I am blown away. I can't wait to use it, um, like other products like this, like the higher end versions, but this one was only like $5. And I'm going in with my MAC Global Glow Highlighter and using that right on top. And it just gives you like the perfect like highlight. Isn't that gorgeous? Basically any highlight that you use over this is gonna be gorgeous. And um, I also put some on my forehead because I wanted to look like a cute little glazed donut. And on my chin and on my nose. <laughs> um, after that, I'm using the same blush that I used on my cheeks on my eyelids. So I wanted to keep this really simple for you guys. Cute and summery. And I went ahead with those luminizer drops and just put that on my eyelid. Next thing I did was take my MAC um, highlighter and also use that on my eyelids. So basically using like the same two products all over my face and then taking the same blush and using that underneath my eye to kind of smoke it out a little bit. Next, I'm showing you my cute little eyelash holder. Um, I don't know what eyelashes these are, I'm so sorry. I've had them for a while. I'm also taking my um, Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This is just like an all over finishing powder. Next thing I'm taking here is my NYX Espresso Lip Liner. I love this stuff, it's absolutely 
beautiful. I love dark lip liners, especially when I like dark brown, like that is my jam. And then I'm taking my NYX embellishment, um, cl super clicky lipstick, super pretty, um, very great nude. Next, I'm taking my macadamia oil and kind of um, scrunching it into my hair. My hair was still a little bit damp, so um, the curl pattern wasn't as defined as it could have been, but I still loved it either way. All right, so after I took down the twist, my hair felt so soft. And um, I ended up doing this really cute little pigtail hairstyle. I was going for like a little cute baby spice glazed donut look. I don't even know how that even came to be, but I, I felt really cute. I thought it looked really cute. And yeah, I just thought it looked really cute. There is a coupon code for this. So if you want to save some dollar bills, please check the description box and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.